to our opening prayer. Brother Jerry, are you available? Amen. Let's pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this time. We thank you for everything you have prepared for us today. Lord, we ask by the power of the Holy Spirit to open our hearts, our ears, our spiritual hear, to perceive, to, to grasp, Lord, what you have for us. Oh, Lord, far from us, anything that is not aligned with your will. Oh, Lord, cover us with the blood of Jesus. Father God, we ask that we'll be set free by the truth of your word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sit on assignment to study on um, Romans chapter 4 and pick up a verse that the Holy Spirit has spoken to you and your understanding of that particular verse. It could have been two verses that because Pastor Charles um, is bringing the word, that said in the word and teaching us tonight. So we want to leave enough room for him and my closing. So um, for those of us that are here, praise God. Um, let's look to um, Romans 4. And you can read it and tell us the verse as you're taking notes and your understanding through the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Chapitre 4, un verset chacun. Vous pouvez expliquer ce que le Saint-Esprit a mis dans votre cœur. Can you hear me? Amen. Yes, yes. we can hear you. Amen. Yes. Brother Roger, your screen uh, picture, you're really, it's really bright where you're sitting. Oh, it's bright? It's, no, it's good. It's really good. It looks like something now, video. Yeah. Oh. That is really good. Oh, I just opened the, <laughs> the blender. That's the, that's the magic to um, <laughs> Zoom. When you're on Zoom, you face the light. It makes it yes. brighter. When you um, back it, the light, like I'm doing, it's not, uh -huh. it's, it won't be bright. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even know. That's I just trick. opened the blender. <laughs> yeah, that's the okay. trick about Zoom. It makes you look like you're in a Hollywood recording something. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just at home sitting here. Amen. 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 All right. Let's go. Who's the first one? And what is your verse um, that the Holy Spirit has uh, given you understanding? And what is that understanding? Amen. Qui veut aller en premier lieu? Quel est votre verset? All right, well, so I, I'll, gonna, I'll start calling um, Elder Vincent. <laughs> you can open up for us. Amen. You are muted, sir. Uh, we cannot hear you. Oh, yeah. Romans chapter 4, verse 13. Okay. It's not through the law that Abraham and his offering received the promise that he will be the head of the world, but through the righteousness that came by faith. Here, God's promise to Abraham was based on the principle of the faith, Amen. no law or no work. Faith is the ground of God's blessing. Abraham was blessed. He's a blessed man, but he became, he became, he got the promise of God is through faith. Amen. 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 That's, that's good. That's good. Thank can you. I, can I translate? Yes, mm. ma'am. Okay. Brother Vincent a choisi Romains 4, 13. Vous pouvez lire en français. La foi est le, le base, la base de, de la bénédiction de Dieu. Abraham était uh, béni à cause de sa foi en Dieu. Amen. I just summarize. Amen. Amen. Yes. He received the promise through faith, by faith. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Amen. Amen. I, I picked up verse 21st. If, uh, I think. 
I can speak. Mm. Yeah, go ahead. It says he was fully convinced that God is able to do whatever he promised. Mm. Amen. Amen. So he has this faith. Um, he he believes in whatever God promised, mm. he will do. Amen. So somehow, sometimes we doubt, but we still believe mm -hmm. that God will do. <laughs> it's, it's like uh, I like this uh, story of uh, uh, Jesus when Jesus healed uh, a son or daughter of one of the person that came to him, mm -hmm. and uh, he said that uh, 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 your daughter is healed, mm -hmm. and then uh, our son was healed, and then uh, the person said, uh, "Head, uh, he believes." Jesus asked if he believes, and he said. I believe. And then he said, Lord, help my unbelief. I don't believe, yes. <laughs> yes. Because there are times that we know, we believe, but sometimes this doubt comes, but we still believe he's God and he's gonna, he, can, he will do what he promised or he's going to do it. We believe. But as humans, sometimes we like, you know, I believe. But I believe. Mm. Yes. But this verse is very important to me because it just said, he was fully convinced that God is able to do whatever he promised. Amen. 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 Another, Amen. Trans another translation says he is able to perform it. Amen. Amen. Thank you. The next person. Let me just summarize one sentence. Okay. The next one. Uh, the next Martin. Uh, Elder Martin. Martin. I did, uh, de Martin, I said, sorry, que, uh, il avait la foi Abraham, il a cru en Dieu, il a cru à toutes les promesses de Dieu, il était convaincu. Je parle de l'histoire de Jésus qui a dit à, à l'homme que ton fils ou ta fille est guéri, est-ce que tu crois cela? Il a dit oui, je crois, mais aide-moi, mon manque de uh, croyance. Donc, des fois, on est des hommes, on, des fois, on doute, mais vraiment, c'est par la foi. Amen. 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 Yes, uh, I was about to take 13 based on reading by Mr. Vincent Reddy. So I'm going to take uh, number uh, first verse and the second verse. Okay. He says this in English. What then shall we say? Hmm. was gained by Abraham, our forefather, according to the flesh. For if Abraham was justified by the work, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and he was counted to him as righteousness. Amen. 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 No, but the work. I mean, no, no the one who works. His wages are not counted as a gift, but as a duty. So, like we said, that Abraham became righteousness to God by faith. The mm. promise became effective by faith. So Abraham was made righteous and not by work. I think works is like as a result of believing and a result of obedience and the result of... Uh, uh, believing, like Sister Martin said, what God promised, he will accomplish. So that Amen. makes us righteous. Believing by faith makes us righteous before God and not by our works. Amen. 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 Le frère Roger a pris verset 1 et 2. Ça, le travail, quand il travaille, on te donne le salaire parce que c'est un, c'est qu'il te doit. Mais Abraham était fait justice à cause de la foi. Pas par les travaux. Amen. 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 Le papa, uh, Elder Louis said uh, 13, but uh, 13 was taken already. He can, <laughs> he can expound on that. Maybe there's another way the Holy Spirit um, taught him or gave him understanding. Then he yes. can expound on that and choose a new one. One new one too. Uh, he said 13 and 14. Okay. Mm -hmm. En effet, ce n'est point par la loi que
que Veritas e Monde a été a a Abraham ou a sa descendance. C'est par la justice de la foi. Si ce n'est pas la si ce n'est pas la loi qu'on on, la loi qu'on est si ce n'est pas la loi qu'on est euh, hérité la foi est vaine, vaine. Et, et la promesse est, la promesse est, est annulée. annulée donc ici j'ai compris que I understood that. La, la foi d'Abraham. The faith of Abraham. N'était pas honte sur la loi. Wasn't counted on the law. Et pour nous aussi c'est comme ça. And it's the same for us. Amen. Puisque Amen. si, si on, 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 on traite par la loi, alors, si la, le verset 14 dit que ce n'est pas par la loi qui est qu'on qu est hérité. 14 says it's not by the law that we are uh, we are yes. the earth. Yes. Uh -huh. La foi est alors la foi est vaine. If it was by the law, then the faith would be vain. So it's not by uh, law, by the law. So it is, uh, it is, it's eh, by the justice de la foi. <coughs> we, we are justified by the, uh, the justice of the faith. We are justified by the faith, by faith. Okay. <coughs> uh, that's all he said, he has for comment. Amen. 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 Roman 4, uh, verse 4 only, I have here. It says, Now to the one who <laughs> his wages are not counted as a gift, but as his due. So this is the, just trying to, to make a difference because something we deserve as our salary because we, we, we went to work. So we have to get our paycheck. Yes. If we don't get it, we will complain. We might sue the company because we work for it. <laughs> but okay. actually, the righteousness of God is not earned. Mm -hmm. It is a gift from God. Amen. And we need always to, to thank God for the righteousness through Christ as a gift permanently. Thank you. Amen. 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 Le, frère, le frère Thierry a pris verset 4. Si vous travaillez, on doit vous payer. Si vous ne payez pas, vous serez fâché. Vous allez même aller au cours pour uh, aller les accuser. Mm. Ici, c'est la justice par la foi. Mm. Et c'est uh, uh, ne paye pas pour cela. Amen. Amen. I took, uh, can I go ahead, Pastor? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know I was muted. I was- uh, Oh, you're muted, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just uh, muted myself. I was um, um, tagging on what uh, our brother said, that in the course of reading that, that verse four, um, you look at it like, what is he talking about? And I started digging in and researching and you know, getting different uh, commentaries on it. And Amen. one of them is what he just mentioned, that when we have a job, we get paid for the job mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we got, that the paycheck is not a gift, mm -hmm. okay? It's what we have worked for. It is our, yeah. it's what our employer owes us mm -hmm. in exchange for what we have worked. Yeah. Talking Amen. about, you know, justified by works, but clearly we can't demand that God owes us. He doesn't owe us salvation. Salvation Amen. is given to us freely. Amen. 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 Go ahead, Pastor Amen. Amen. I pick verse uh, 16. 
Therefore, the promise comes by faith so that it may be, be by grace mm -hmm. and may be guaranteed to all Abraham's offspring, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who have the faith of Abraham. He is the father of us all. Mm -hmm. So what I receive here also is like everyone has been commenting that the promise come by faith. It's not because of what we have done. And I was wondering what promise is this? And really is the promise of salvation, mm -hmm. of Jesus coming to die in our place mm -hmm. and giving us eternal life. And yes. it is guaranteed to all Abraham's offspring, mm -hmm. to all who have faith in Christ alone. Mm -hmm. So that's what Amen. I receive. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Um, before I hand over to uh, Pastor Charles, I see that Pro, um, Pastor Edgar joined us. And Pastor Edgar, we are reading um, that Romans chapter 4, and we are making comments on one verse each that the Holy Spirit has uh, given us understanding. Um, I don't know if you have any verse that jumps out that you want to talk about before we hand over to Pastor Charles. Um, for this, um, um, welcome all, welcome all. Um, um, God bless, bless you, Pastor. Pastor. Yeah. God bless you, Pastor. Yeah. Oh, I um, forgot, uh, Sister Gloria. Uh, she yeah, <laughs> just, just uh, um, to save some time, I'd like to just uh, expand on Pastor Helen's uh, verse. Uh, mm. The fact that she says that it's a guarantee. I like that part Amen. of the, Amen. that we, uh, um, a guarantee is something um, um, the the um, the um, people from the from the stocks from the um, Wall Street when they give you a guarantee. Um, this man always used to like to use this saying: "You could take it to the bank." Because no matter which bank, if you take it to Chase, if you take it to Wells Fargo, if you take it to your credit union, if you take it to the post office, wherever it does fiduciary, whatever does monetary exchange will definitely uphold that guarantee, mm -hmm. that promise. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the promise, uh, um, Pastor Helen reiterated, it's a guarantee that is given to all ALL, -L, which means everyone mm -hmm. inclusive, mm -hmm. nobody excluded mm -hmm. of all Abraham's children. Hallelujah. Amen. I think, I think that includes us, we as the offspring that were inherited by inheritance, we were included. Um, we have no excuse to say that we can't be part of this blessed uh, union. Mm -hmm. It's Amen. a guarantee. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. I, I uh, skipped uh, Sister Gloria. Sister Gloria, please forgive me. Go ahead. No. <laughs> um, um, I, I'm read, the one that stood out to me is uh, verse 20 that says, He staggered not at the promise mm -hmm. of to unbelief, mm -hmm. but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. And what I understood is the promise and the process. During the process, before we get to the mm -hmm. promise, sometimes we get tired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we look at the situation, sometimes we get tired. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I understand that when we fix our gaze on the promise, mm -hmm. we fix our eyes on him then we'll be able to endure and go through the process. Mm -hmm. Because we have to go through the process to get what is promised to us. Amen. Amen. That's it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let me just Amen. Let very fast, Pastor, please. Uh, Pastor Edgar a pris verset 16 comme moi. C'est garanti. Donc, pour tous les enfants d'Abraham, la promesse est garantie. Et la promesse, comme Pastor Helen avait dit, c'est le salut en Jésus-Christ, quand nous mettons notre foi en Jésus-Christ. La Sœur Gloria a pris verset 20, il n'a pas, il n'a pas chancelé. Il dit qu'il y a une promesse à sur les procès. Des fois, tu vois la situation, tu es fatigué, mais quand tu, tu dois passer par les procès avant d'arriver à la promesse. Amen. 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 Am
Amen. Amen. I think it was um, um, Sister Martin that did 21 earlier. When you look at the opposite of being fully convinced, mm -hmm. opposite of convinced is being wavering. And that's Amen. true. Okay, mm -hmm. he wavered. When you wavered, not wavering brings unbelief. Fully mm -hmm. convinced is that belief. And there's yeah. something else that it added there. When you're fully convinced, you're mm. giving glory to God. You know, it's him. it has nothing Amen. to do with your own works. It has everything to do with him. You have no Amen. hand in it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Gloria. Amen. 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 Pastor, oh. Pastor Antonia, Pastor Antonia yes. before you turn it over to Pastor Charles, I wanted to just um, say something else before we walk away from this also. Uh, Sister yes. Gloria mentioned something very important there just the now. process. <laughs> yeah, that process. But yes. we, uh, we, must, we must remember something. Uh, before we um, get too taken away with the process, mm. the process was 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 concluded by Jesus Christ himself. It's not a process that me and you have to um, comply with, we have to accomplish. It's not something that we accomplish. Our process is only to accept the gift. Amen. The only process Amen. that we have to go through is mm -hmm. to accept the gift, to know that the Amen. gift is there freely offered to all, and then to be convinced unwaveringly without any doubt without any question that Jesus paid it all. And so all we Hallelujah. have to do is accept it. Amen. If we don't accept it freely without doing any work for it, then it is not a gift anymore. It's just like mm -hmm. um, Brother Terry said, then it's something that we earned, we worked mm -hmm. for, and it's not a gift anymore. But it's a gift mm -hmm. even through the process because the, 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 the penalty was already paid and completed by Jesus Christ himself. Our mm -hmm. job in the process is only to accept it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Just, like, Amen. just to Amen. buttress that, yeah, that's where that process um, comes from. Like when uh, the angel came to um, Mary, Mary and told Mary, oh, there is a promise of a child coming. You know, at first she, he, she didn't like until she said, okay, let it be according uh, to your word. And she yeah. began that process. Mm -hmm. And she, because she accepted it, she believed Amen. it. And the Amen. process began. And she continued to believe it until the child is birth. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. I will hand Amen. over Hallelujah. to Pastor Charles now. Pastor Amen. Charles, you have your platform. Please go ahead, sir. Lord, praise God. Well, yeah. um, let me let me just add to what our pastor just said and um, kind of a comparison with what he said about Mary and ac yeah. Mary accepting the announcement that she's going to be the mother of Jesus Christ. And um, something she argued, no, she did not argue, she asked for clarification. So when they got the clarification, she accepted it wholeheartedly. Oh. If you compare that with Luke chapter 1, when angel visited Zachariah or Zachary, mm -hmm. and to Zachary, who has been serving God in the Holy of Holies for so long, that he's going to have a son, he thought it was a joke. Uh. He almost aborted the vision that God had released to him. And so what happened? Because he doubted, then he was deaf and dumb for nine months. Mm -hmm. So these are the comparison we see because I'm going to lead me to what I really want to, how I want to tie the um, this um, the program that we just finished in the month of July, mm -hmm. which is standing on the promises of God. Amen. Everything that God promised us is contingent on some um, conditions. Every promise of God has conditions attached to it. So what I want to look at to tie up the stand on the promises of God and tie you with how we can really receive those promises. I want us to just look at um, what I might say is the beauty of brokenness. The beauty of brokenness. And I'm just going to read a few um, passages and then we just get into a discussion. So I see how we tie that with standing on the promises of God. And I want to take you to Psalm 51. Uh, Pastor Helen, you're going to summarize after, or do you want me to walk? 
Ah oui, ça m'a rasé, je veux ça m'a à la fin et passer va prendre somme 51. À d'où elle est the end. Thank you. Ok, ma'am. Thank you very much. So, Psalm 51 says, Have mercy upon me, O God. Mm -hmm. According to your loving kindness, mm -hmm. according unto, I'm reading from King James, the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thorough from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, yes. that thou mayest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, Verse 5, I was shepherd in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Mm. Behold, mm -hmm. thou desirest truth in the world parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. I want to start by chapter 10, verse 10. Purge me with his soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Oh. Amen. The beauty of brokenness. Mm -hmm. We cannot okay. receive the promises of God. We cannot stand on the promise of God if we are not broken. Being broken, being submissive to the word of God, being submissive to the, the promises of God, being submissive to the things of God, being repentant. Even to things that we do, actually, when we start praying, I always encourage people to start by being repentant before God. Go and confess your sins and mm -hmm. ask God to forgive us. Anything that the enemy might use against us in the process of prayer, that God will forgive us. That's why I say, create me a clean heart, O Lord. I renew a right spirit. So when I have that right spirit, then I can come in his presence. I can ask for whatever I want. I can remind him of his promises in my life. I can stand on his promises as I claim the blessing and the promise of God in my life, in my family, in our ministry, and wherever we are. Mm -hmm. Brokenness Amen. also means Amen. having a forgiving spirit. Yes. The greatest problem the Christians have that deny them the promises of God is unforgiveness. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Unforgiveness has taken so many who have died into hellfire. Unforgiveness has caused so many people who are alive today to live in hellfire without knowing that. I remember one day, I think it was Pastor Helen or Pastor Antonio who said that when somebody is carrying unforgiveness, is, and then you are moving around, going from place to place with unforgiveness, you are actually creating a barrier between you and God. It's not just that it is sin that separates from God. The sin of unforgiveness is the hierarchy of sin as far as I'm concerned. The reason is that because you are dying inside yourself and then you are dying spiritually. Unforgiveness is that kind of sin where I will drink poison and I expect somebody else to die. I drank the poison and I expect somebody else to die. That's why Bible records that even when you find yourself praying and you have not forgiven anybody, even to give offering, leave your offering, go and reconcile with that person before even you can give your offering. That's how important this is. <laughs> so unforgiveness can actually take a whole session where we have to talk about it because it takes the Holy Spirit to forgive. Don't get me wrong. When somebody offends us, the human nature is to retaliate. That's the nature. Somebody say, do me, I do you. God, no go vex. That's to say, but that's a lie from the pit of hell. Uh, for those who are French, you say, when you, do, uh, when you do me something wrong and I do something back to you, 
that God will not get angry at me for retaliating. That's not true. That's when people are the world. God wants us to forgive. It is the things that draw us closer to God. Because when we are carrying on forgiveness, we cannot pray through. We cannot break through in our prayers. And when you don't break through in your prayers, you are not standing on the promise of God because the promises are waiting for you, but you don't receive them. You see them, but you don't receive them. Because that's the word of God that tells you, if you don't forgive, you will not be forgiven. The promise of God also can be received by having a giving spirit. By having a helping spirit. By desiring to walk in the house of God. I observe how people take, take an extra step to walk in the house of God. I've seen some of the brothers and sisters after the service, we are sitting around trying to get things organized and all that. You are serving God, and that is how you will receive the promises of God. Because when you say, God, I am working for you. I'm not working to please the pastor. I'm working to please you. So that is part of your brokenness. And when you are broken before God, doesn't mean that you take an egg and break it. I think you're going to break it. No. Brokenness is a spiritual exercise where you serve as unto God. You pray as unto God. You help others as unto God. You don't see your brother and your sister as a male or a female or a boy or a girl. You see them as a child of God, born in the image of God, just like you're born in the image of God. When we begin to see each other the way God sees us, we shall experience the power and the anointing and grace of God as never before. And that's why we can stand Amen. on the promise of God and say, God, you promised me this. You promised me that. And because of our, my righteousness, that's like a filter right before God, that's not what gives me the promises. It is what I am doing the best I can because we can never be perfect in anything we're doing. But when I'm, God knows the heart. I know that we are striving every time. So because we are doing things that's unto God, then you can claim the promises of God in your life, in every area of your life. Because the word of God is full of promises. We discussed that last week. I came yeah. up with 7,000 something, Pastor mm -hmm. Anthony came up with 8,000 something. These mm -hmm. are promises for us, for you and for me. But we can claim that when God sees our heart, says our heart, that's why I said, creating me, verse 10, creating me a clean heart. A clean heart does not have anger. A clean heart does not have malice. A clean heart forgives. A clean heart draws near to people. You become attracted to people and people are attracted to you because of the anger for love that you show to people on a daily basis. Amen. That would take us also to Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. These are called the fruits of the Spirit. When we manifest the fruit of the Spirit, I'm not going to go into that, guys. I'm going to run also and share it. When we operate in the fruit of the Spirit, meekness, humility, and all that, all that, people will always, don't get me wrong, people will think that you are weak. People will take you for granted. People will take advantage of you. But please hear me and hear me well. When you are operating the fruit of the Spirit, Galatians 5, 22 and 23, you need strength. Oh. It is anointing. It is grace. It is pulling down the power of God in your life. It is that time when you can say something and God will stand by you. It is a time when you make a decree and God will stand by you. It is a time when you make a declaration and God will stand by you. Why? Because you are constantly striving to be in the will of God. Amen. Brokenness Amen. is what we all need. We have to be broken before God. We have to exercise the true nature of God in ourselves. We cannot do it perfectly, but you can do it as according to the grace that has been given to you. As we're saying in uh, Romans chapter 4, Abraham, why is he standing out? Because he trusted God. Bible records there that even at his old age, he believed God that he's still going to be the father of business. Say so he even look at the wife as old as she is. But even at that, he said, God who has promised me this, I have no reason to doubt him. I've worked with God for many years, but, and I know that God never fails. So regardless of how old I am, just how old my wife is, I trust God. He said, I'm going to be a father of many nations. I am 100 plus years old, but I know that God who has promised will not fail me. 
And because of that confidence he has in God, because he has submitted himself to the will and for the purpose of God, God had declared and decreed that he's going to be the father of nations. And today we regard and know and believe that Abraham is our father, that through Abraham, we inherit the blessings of God. Through Abraham, we inherit the promises of God. Through Abraham, we can stand on the promises of God. Declaration brings position. And you can only decree and declare when you have confidence in yourself that you are speaking the word of God. Say, remind me of my word. Remind me. It doesn't mean that God does not understand. God has forgotten. He wants it to come from your mouth. Because your mouth controls heaven. Your mouth controls the world. Your mouth controls your family. Your mouth controls your family. Your mouth controls your family. Your mouth controls your wife. Your mouth controls your husband. Everything you speak, the man controls the church. But Amen. when I am submissive, when I am submit, when I am uh, broken in the heart, in the presence of God, then I can make those decrees. The Bible says, you shall make a decree and it shall be established unto you. Mm-hmm. What decrees do we want to make tonight? What decree have you made and you think it's not working? Then check and make sure that you are working according to the promises of God. Amen. If you look at Psalm 51 verse 17, say the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. Oh God, you will not despise. Broken heart, submissive heart, heart that wants to please God in the life of other people. As we begin to please God, uh, people as according to the will of God, as we begin to love people according to the will of God, the way Jesus loved us, we shall never have problems in our communities, in our church, in our families. It Amen. is when we allow the flesh to dominate, that's when we have to begin to draw the comparison between one and another. We are one in Christ. We are birthed. Hallelujah. We have Hallelujah. life in Christ. We have faith in Christ. We have everything that is laid for us in Christ. When we Amen. share the same father, all of us, we share the same Father. We share the Trinity. There's no difference. Hallelujah. Please understand. There's no difference between me and Pastor Helen or Pastor or Pastor Antonia or Pastor Ega or my brothers and my sisters on this prayer line. There's no mm-hmm. difference. We are the same. The same blood from Jesus flows through our blood. So as long as we begin to understand that we are the one in Christ, then we begin to treat each other with respect, with reverence. And when that happens, the grace of God is released. The presence of God is released. And when the presence of God comes, everything that looks impossible shall become possible because Amen. God is the God of impossibilities. He's the only one that makes impossibilities possible. And that's the nature of God. And that is how we can stand on the promise of God. And that's when you can receive from God. And people will see you all the time happy and they wonder what is wrong with you. That's what they will ask you. What is wrong with you? Say, so what did I do? You're always happy. Why would somebody tell you that? I don't know about you, but I know many people have said that to me before. Why are you always happy? And I told, I'm not shared that with you. I, when I was working in corporate America, I get tested every three months. They thought I was on drugs. Well, the problem was that I was always very happy. Why are you always happy? When they test, yes, honestly. It was until I was told to go to the HR department and report that I went and said, are you ready to shoot sue us? I said, sue you for what? Say, oh, we looked at your record after you complained and said they've been testing you. What is it? Say, well, they say I'm very happy. That's why they tested me. <laughs> I don't find anything about it. In corporate America, oh, yes, I'm going to get because that's funny. It's a oh, problem man. for them because they're dying on the inside. Mm-hmm. They're carrying, they look at you, they say you are from Nigeria or from Congo, mm-hmm. they get angry. Over what? Mm-hmm. They look at you and say, I've come to take your thing. Take what? The earth is the loss and the fullness thereof. That's why they look at you they're from Zaire and you're taking their job. You're from Nigeria taking their job. But they're lazy, you're sitting over there doing nothing. But because mm-hmm. you have the spirit of God, you still serve us unto God. And God will bless you all as you continue to serve in the house of God. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 <laughs> amen. So we uh, can make comments, we can ask questions amen. in the name of Jesus. Pastor Helena. Amen.
Pastor Ellen. My pastor. I was Timothée. muted, sorry. <laughs> uh, Marie a crié l'ange, l'ange avait des... Elle a seulement demandé pour des clarifications, mais Zécarie n'avait pas crié, il avait douté. C'est pour ça qu'il est devenu muet pendant neuf mois. Comment est-ce que nous recevons les promesses? On a lu le psaume 51, vous pouvez lire ça après. Il faut être brisé. Il faut être brisé, c'est ainsi qu'on peut recevoir la promesse de Dieu. Ici, le psaumiste dit, crée en moi un cœur qui est propre, mon Dieu. Quand tu es brisé, tu confesses tes péchés. Quand tu es brisé, tu as l'esprit de pardonner les autres. Le manque de pardonner les autres, c'est ça qui emmène les gens en enfer. Quand tu ne pardonnes pas, c'est comme si tu prends le poison et dis, tu attends que quelqu'un quelqu que d'autre meure. Alors, il faut aussi avoir l'esprit de vouloir donner, l'esprit de vouloir euh, pardonner. Il faut marcher selon l'esprit. Galates 5, 23 à 25, les fruits de l'esprit. Quand vous, vous avez le fruit de l'esprit dans votre vie, vous avez la force, vous avez la grâce, et vous êtes brisé. Tout ce que vous demandez, Dieu va vous les donner. Dieu va tenir ses promesses. Abraham n'a même pas vu son âge. Il a fait confiance en son Dieu. Et aujourd'hui, il nous encourage de travailler pour le Seigneur. Pas pour plaire vos pasteurs, mais pour plaire Dieu. D'être submissive. Et alors, quand vous déclarez les choses, Dieu va les faire accomplir. Amen. Thank you, Amen. 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 There's so much passion in there, the way you interpret those. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen, Pastor. Amen. Well, I will, I will open up for, I don't know, Pastor Antonio, if it's okay, if questions, you know, or comments. Yes, sir, go ahead. Go ahead. Continue, if people want to contribute or ask questions. I, want, I wanted to ask a question. Yes, ma'am. I always pray to God to give me a clean heart, and I'm trying to please the Lord and keep my heart clean. But what's the best way to deal with somebody who try to always make you hang angry? Je demande à Dieu de me donner un cœur propre. Qu'est-ce que tu fais avec quelqu'un qui te rend toujours très fâché? It's like they do it to provoke you, to make you sin, <laughs> or say something that, you know, will not be good. <laughs> Comme si te provoque pour que tu pêches. Okay, my sister, um, this is uh, this is something we experience every day. Amen. I have to something I will tell you about that is that you know yourself more than anybody else knows you. Two people that know you, two people that know you, each and every one of us. Only you and God knows you more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want you to understand that everybody is carrying some kind of burden in their heart. Mm. Everybody. The world we live in is full of challenges. And so people carry their sins. Some of them carry it on their faces and you can see them. Some of them carry it in their heart and you don't see that. So one thing I have told people is that when you are around people who are always trying to provoke you, mm. understand that that person has a problem, not you. Mm. Understand that, that person is one that has a problem. You are not the one that has a problem because you know yourself. You know they're doing the right things. So mm. that person has a problem. So what I do with people like that is, can I help you? I know you're going through some challenge. Can I help you with that? Because I want to throw that on the person that you are the one that has issue, not me. I'm cool. Okay, so that's one thing you have to understand. One thing I'll go, something else I want to say, that in each and every one of us, there is the spirit, the body, and the mind. Our mind is divided into two. There's the side of our mind in every one of us that is darkness. There's also part of that our mind that is light. Everything that goes on in the life of each individual is either coming from that darkness or from the light. When you are connected with God, you always get information that connects you to the spirit and your body will obey that information. When you're operating Amen. from the dark side, as many people are who don't have Christ in their lives, then you see that they're always trying to make you angry. 
because they are very bitter with their own life, not because of you. They are bitter in their own life, so they manifest that even without consciously knowing that that's what they are doing. When people operate from darkness, that's what you see. That's why somebody can take a gun and go and shoot somebody. And some people are saying, oh, he's such a nice guy. When he was going to school, he was doing this. He was so nice. He was friendly. And the other person say, oh, no, he is evil. The same person. So please understand that when you are doing your best to be in the presence of God or to serve God, that mm -hmm. people will say things or do things. Understand that. Just put it on that person that this person has a problem. It's not me. For mm -hmm. the same reason I say, because you know yourself and God yeah. knows you. It does not matter what people say about you. Once mm -hmm. you know that you are doing your best to serve God, then mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's righteousness. Alleluia. It is righteousness. Amen. 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 Nous avions aussi euh, les pensées, les pensées des euh, ténèbres, lumière. Mais quand tu es connecté avec Dieu, Dieu te donne hein, des directions. Ce qui opère dans les ténèbres, c'est pour ça qu'ils vont, euh, ils vont dehors et commencent à tuer les gens parce qu'ils sont dans, très opérés dans les ténèbres. Amen. 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 Je vais prendre une dernière question ou une dernière commentaire. I'd like to I'd like to make a comment on on what Pastor Charles just said just now too, um, with regards to uh, Sister Martin's um, concern. Um, he did say that there's two people that knows you, you and God, but there's really three because the devil also knows you, <laughs> and the devil knows the devil knows our weaknesses. Thank you, Pastor. Okay, yes. <laughs> yes. he knows our weaknesses, and yeah, so but... the devil will always tread on what, what he knows bothers you more. Because mm. if he can get to bother you, then he gets to bother God. Mm. So um, we have to, um, the, 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 the Bible says, resist the devil yes. and he shall flee. Yes. God, gave, mm -hmm. God gave permission to the devil to, to, to mess with us, to tempt us, to mm. present things, stumbling stones in our lifetime. But what we have to do is always look towards the things above. Look Amen. towards heavenly things. Yes. Look towards, it says, if, if you look to what is lovely, what is yes. beautiful, what, yes. those are the things. Those are the things that we should strive towards. Even yes. though we know that this person is provoking to us, don't Amen. fall to the provocation. Right. If we fall to the provocation, then we are giving the devil his foothold. Yes. where he can then lead us to that dark side that Pastor Charles talked about. We Amen. want to always stay Amen. in the light and we want to show ourselves as children of the light. Amen. We will walk yeah. in the Hallelujah. light. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. My, yeah, that's just my Perfect. expansion. on I, what wanted, Pastor, I wanted you to buttress, how do you, give an example to her, how do you resist? What are one of the ways you can resist? From the devil, well, because that's the key to resist. most perfect, most perfect way to start out with our resistance is to claim upon the promises of God. Go back to the scripture. When mm -hmm. the devil was tempting Jesus in the in the desert, in the wilderness, where yes. did Jesus go every time? It is written. Bible. It yes. is written. Man. Go back, hold on, cling on to some of the promises of God Amen. and use those to resist the devil. Amen. Second, Amen. Of all, second of all, if you don't go back to the scripture, then attach yourself to prayer. Amen. Amen. Always Amen. attach yourself to when the devil is tempting you, pray. Pray, yeah, I mean, God, I am weak. God, I am made out of flesh and blood. God, I don't have the strength to resist, but with you, you can help me. You can guide, hold my hand, walk with me. Uh, David yeah. says, wash me with his up. Yes, I am yeah. sinful and I am totally unacceptable, but wash mm -hmm. me with his up and yeah. I will be clean. Yes. Give Hallelujah. me the strength. Yeah, go Amen. back to prayer. Mm -hmm. And when Amen. you cannot pray, when you cannot pray and resist on your own, then there's always corporate prayer. Ask okay. somebody else to pray with you. Ask Amen. somebody else to pray for you. Man, those, are three, those are three easy ways that you can start resisting. And then there's many others, but as you get strengthened in the Lord, you'll Amen. find other ways that work out for your situation or for your personality. 
Amen. In addition to that, in addition to that, you can also use praise and worship. Yes, sing, sing, sing worship songs. Sing worship songs. Amen. Amen. Pastor Helen, would you would you translate? Pastor Edgar Adi. Yes, Pastor Edgar Adi. Troisième personne qui te connaît aussi, c'est Satan. Satan connaît tes points faibles. Et souvent, il veut te provoquer. Et Dieu aussi permet à Satan pour mettre des, euh, des euh, obstacles dans nos vies aussi. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'on fait On va à la parole. Quand il a tenté Jésus, Jésus disait, il était qui Il était qui Il va aller à la parole aussi, prière. Si vous priez, si uh, ça continue, vous demandez les gens de prier avec vous. Amen. Et parce que Charles a ajouté la louange et l'adoration aussi. Amen. Ça va vous aider à résister, car la Bible dit résiste Satan et il va fuir. Amen. 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 So I'm going to actually, because this is like the third time I have heard our sister. Someone is actually provoking her and it's been this long. That I don't think this is just a general question our sister is asking. And why mm -hmm. I asked for that specific, I wanted to see if our pastor can tie it to the promises of God. I'm glad that he did. He Amen. tied it to standing on the promises when the enemy mm -hmm. began to tempt at the Lord. Can you imagine a man that did 40 days fasting with that mm -hmm. anointing? And mm -hmm. the next thing that happened is provocation provocation yeah. because the right. enemy wants him to lose what is in front of him and that's what the enemy is trying to do to where mm. our sister is but mm. our sister have not sat with me to uh, you know talk about it personally but these questions keep coming up so i would like our pastor edgar because pastor edgar mentioned first thing stand on the word it is yeah. written it is written pray yeah. pray pray our sister must have done this but what yes. we have not done is this, uh, what our pastor said, corporate prayer. Pastor yes. Edgar, will you please uh, lead us so we can pray for our sister? There Amen. is someone provoking yes. our sister. But Amen. today, because of our prayer altar, it will Amen. come to an end in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Let's pray for Amen. our sister. Pastor, lead yes. us, please. Pastor Amen. Edgar. Bless, bless are you, Lord God. God, Thanks. we come to you in yes. unison today. Yes. We come yes. to you presenting to you a situation with one of your children, Father. Sister Martin has presented to this, this corporate uh, um, um, body a situation that needs your assistance, Pastor. Yes. Oh, uh, 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 Sister Martin has cried out to us, Father, and the scripture tells us that when one among us weep, we weep together yes. with yes. each yes. other. When one yes. of us is elated and joyful, we rejoice together, Father. Yes. Yes. And so, like David, we come to you today with yes. brokenness, Father. Yes. We yes. come to you with brokenness, asking yes. that you break that spirit yes. of provocation that's upon oh, yeah. our yes. sister today, yes. Father. Enough. Enough. We ask you, Father, to yes. wash away yes. that perturbance, yes. wash away, yes. wash yes. away yes. that yes. thorn in yes. her yes. side, yes. Father. Yes. Cause, yes. Father, cause, Father, that things yes. will be corrected in her yes. life yes. so that these provocations, these perturbances, that thorn that's sticking her in yes. her side will be taken yes. away, Father. Yes. Father, we know that you can do it, Father. Yes, we, Lord. Trust, we trust that because we have asked for it as oh. a church, yes. as a body yes. in yes. Christ, we yes. know that you are, have already done it, Father. Okay. Now cause it, we ask you to cause it to manifest itself yes. in the life of our sister. Yes, Not Lord. only in Sister Martin's life, Father, yes. but yes. cause that provocation yes. and yes. want of in all of our lives, Father, yes, wash it away. We ask you to use his love, Father, and yes. wash, cleanse yes. all of us of yes. that perturbance, that yes. disturbance, that yes. distraction, that yes. 
that brings us, that takes us away from your glory, Father. Oh, cause yeah. us to be, cause us to be of a renewed spirit, Father, yes, in Lord. order to glorify you Amen. and to lift up your name. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. We ask Lord. you all these things and hold fast to your yes. truth, Father. In Thank Jesus' God. precious name. Amen. 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 As we bring our, our meeting to Amen. close, we all through the readings and all our commentaries and understanding, we now know that the promises have been activated. Pastor, uh, yeah. Pastor Elga said it, Jesus did it. It's already there. But Amen. something activated those um, uh, promises. And something will also keep those promises. So Amen. there are keys. There are some of the keys. They are not limited to these keys. But because we are mentioning these keys, our pastor Charles will pray and bring us to clothing. Those keys are trusting the Lord, as we, we saw in that reading, and believing, believing in God and having faith, having faith, uh, believing in God and hope. He said he called those things that are not as though they uh, are. That's yeah. that hope. And the Bible said, hope in him make not ashamed. He says, Amen. there is a faith, faith that is not dying. Amen. There is a belief, belief mm. that is not wavering. There is trust, trust mm. that he is God. Trust mm. that if he created me, if he has done so, so and so in the past, he will do it again. Amen. Yes. So we are going to pray at least with these keys. Because mm -hmm. we are rounding up to this um, uh, uh, segment, uh, the theme. We are rounding up this month, next month, and the a new chapter. And yep. it's a, 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 a family heritage, I believe. So let's uh, pray, Pastor. Yep. Where are we? We are wavering. Mm. Let's pray. Where, where our, you know, our faith is dying. Let mm. God increase our faith, you know, mm. so that the promises and the process will, will come to that promised line land between mm -hmm. where god promised them to take them out and say i'm taking you to a land that is flowing it's, with milk and honey and he did not tell them that we are giants in the land those yes. are those process they're walking yes. to it the promises is already there he has yes. given it to them but they, they mm. have to walk to it hallelujah yes. so i don't know what your own promises and your own expectations are yes. what you have heard the lord even through this teaching Hallelujah. Mm. He comes when the word of God comes to us. There is yeah. something that He wants to do in our life. You know, mm, there yeah. are times and there are seasons for yeah. every man. There is a time and a season. And yeah. there's promises that come in those times and in those seasons. I don't Amen. know what yours are. I don't know what he has spoken to you. It might be different mm -hmm. from what he has spoken to me. So yes. through that promise he has given me that I know is like Pastor Edgar said again, or see Pastor Charles, you know, go to the bank and cash it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But by, by the time you are going to that bank to go cash it, is what is a process. Hallelujah. Amen. You might want Amen. to have a, a, your, your on your computer or from Zell, or you're mm -hmm. taking a taxi to where the station is. Mm -hmm. Pastor, go ahead and pray because if you believe me, I will keep talking. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Are um, you already saying is barely in order? Pastor, but I'll be the indulgence. Um, I would actually like everybody to pray because we have, like you said, different needs that were presented. We have different promises we're standing on. So I would like whatever to open your mouth and pray in the area that they need that touch. And that's a blessing. And then in the end, uh, they will, will see the prayer. That way we make sure that everybody is fully represented. So mm -hmm. may we raise our voices and yours wherever you deserve oh, God. Jesus. Because actually one good thing about that today is only the third of August. So we need to just minister to God right now by having broken in his presence. Let us just begin to present whatever it is that we have asked God to do, the promises that God has made in our life that we want to see manifestation of it. Let us begin to ask God, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord. We thank you for your grace and your mercy upon this family, Lord. Father, we bless you, we honor and glorify your mighty, your name. 
Tonight, all of your children are presenting their petition before you. My Lord and my God, you are the God of all things. It's not as impossible with you. But I will say, if you come as we are, you have You say, if you come as we are, my Father, my Lord. There are many things that you have made in the life of your children. There are many things that your children desire from you. There are many petitions that put before you. There are those, oh Lord, who are looking for things that to run in your life. There are those who are looking for things that those who are looking all over the foot of the room, the rest who are looking all over the room, they have been working alone and blessing and trusting you, Lord, for their family to be raised and lies, oh Lord. My Lord and my God is not as impossible with you. Tonight, as I cry to you, Lord, but I hear them. Tonight, as I cry to you, Lord, but I hear them. Tonight, as I cry to you, Lord, my Father, my God, as many as we are, so our needs, Lord. As of our different, so our needs, O Lord. There are promises are made in our lives, O Lord, individually and collectively. The promises are made to the church, to the pastor, to the families, to the children. Father, meet every need. I go to your business in promise, O Lord. Father, you are not a man for you to lie. You are not a son of man for you to repent. Whatever you say, you do, do it, O Lord. Father, let there be manifestation of your promises the life of everyone of the sound of the voice. Tonight, O Lord, Father, show yourself mighty. Show yourself mighty. There are kind of your promises, O Lord. I have promises I hear and amen. Father, let there be manifestation. Let there be performance in the life of your children, O Lord, that they would set the of your goodness in the land of the living. Let there be testimonies, O Lord. Testimonies, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. What you have done in their lives. Let them testify of your grace upon their lives. Let them testify of those that you because you say that they say before us an open door that no one can show that. Let us not open door, Lord, of our children. By the authority of your Father, by the authority of the Son, by the authority of the Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Mighty name. Pray. Amen. 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 It has been a powerful theme for this month, and I know there will be a performance. Unto them that believe, hallelujah, Amen. the Lord will increase our faith. Yes. The yes. Lord will cause us to believe more or for grace to believe mm. more and hope yeah. in him. Hallelujah. Yeah. Trusting him without wavering yes. in the yeah. name of Jesus. As the Lord yeah. is doing it, please, let's have a time to testify because hallelujah. I know yeah. that he will do according to his promises. Yes, he will. Amen and amen. Our amen. next month, well, wait, this month actually is, I believe, Pastor um, um, Elder Vincent. Can you put your video on so we make sure you're here? Um, Elder <laughs> Vincent will be posting it on our platform with the scripture and the preach scriptures are just our anchor scripture. We have more scripture mm -hmm. for every um every topic amen yeah. so amen. after this bible study our elder vincent will post it on the platform amen, amen. So we're gonna choose remember how we do it we do one and then the next one will have the elders and the deacons um take 10 to 15 minutes to teach us or yeah. share the, the um the word amen. concerning yeah. that so this um coming next week uh, uh papa Let's, Louis. Yeah, Louis. Papa Louis, Papa Louis, get ready with uh, 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 Elder Martin. You two will be sharing. Um, mm -hmm. We will take 10, 10 minutes each or 15 minutes mm -hmm. each and um, share. The, am I correct? It's family heritage, uh, yeah. Elder Vincent? Yes, Is family it? heritage. Yes. Family heritage. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about family heritage, you're talking about family dynamics, you're talking about Godly, uh, um, godly family, so on and so forth. So you to get ready and let's let's see what the Lord has put in your spirit. And after that, we cannot chime in. Okay, together, Amen. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the love of God, the love of God, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, rest and abide upon each and every one of you. Amen.
Amen. Surely, Amen. Goodness, Surely and all goodness Amen. and mercy Amen. shall follow us all, all the days of our lives, and we and shall dwell in the house, in the house of the Lord forever. this day and forever. Amen. 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 We're standing on the mysteries of the Lord. Oh, God, yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.